Hello everyone. I welcome you to this video. In this video, we are going to see about complex numbers representations. This is a part of Max lecture series, a video by C through Max. Representation of complex numbers. There are two ways by which a complex number may be represented. One by rectangular form and the second one, the complex number will be represented in an organ plane. First one, rectangular form of a complex number. A complex number is of the form x plus i y. So, it is of the form x plus i y. We all know that one i is equal to square root of minus 1. Moreover, here it is mentioned x and y are real numbers. This x is a real number, y is a real number. So, here this x is called the real part and y is called the imaginary part. So, all together this x plus i y is a complex number. Okay, so in this one, x and y are real numbers, but this y is specially called as imaginary part. Next definition, two complex numbers z1 and z2 are said to be equal if and only if the real parts for both are same and the imaginary parts of both the complex numbers are same. That is x1 is equal to x2 and y1 equal to y2. So, we have two complex numbers, one is z1 equal to x1 plus i y1 and another complex number z2 equal to x2 plus i y2. So, here x1, y1, x2, y2 all are real numbers by previous definition and x1 and x2 are the real parts, y1 and y2 are the imaginary parts of z1 and z2 respectively. So, when can we tell z1 is equal to z2? So, this is true only when x1 is equal to x2, that means real part of z1 is equal to real part of z2 and the imaginary part of z1, it is y1, is equal to the imaginary part of z2, it is y2. At the same time, if x1 equal to x2 and y1 equal to y2, then the corresponding two complex numbers are equal. The second one complex number in organ plane. A complex number z is equal to x plus i y is uniquely determined by an ordered pair of real numbers. We can able to plot this one. Example, 3 minus 8 i. 3 is a real number and minus 8 is a real number. Okay, so the real part first we will write that is 3, that is x coordinate, comma, then minus 8. Okay, that is the coefficient of i, we can tell. So, minus 8. This is the imaginary part. See, in this one, both 3 and minus 8 are real numbers. The next one, 6. That means, the real part is there. There is no imaginary part. Meaning is 0. The imaginary part is 0. Here, in the third example, minus 4a. There is no real part. That means 0, comma. The imaginary part is minus 4. If we consider x-axis as real axis and y-axis as imaginary axis to represent a complex number, then the xy plane is called organ plane or complex plane. It is named after the Swiss mathematician Jean Organ. Complex numbers may be represented as a point also. See here, here is the point. Okay, so this is uh, from uh, origin. This is x unit away from the origin along real axis x axis so this is alpha here and the same thing the height that is how much distance it is away from the origin along y axis it is beta here so it is represented as alpha plus i beta complex number may be represented as a position vector here it is a point here it is a position vector all position vector starts from origin the next one complex number as an individual vector alpha plus i beta so we are having a lot of representation of complex numbers. Represent the complex numbers as ordered pairs. Also, plot them in organ plane. So, two representations we have studied. One by uh, representing in ordered pairs. The next one representing in organ plane. 3 plus i. So, how to represent this one in ordered pair? So, here we will represent in ordered pair. In the next page, we will represent the same thing in an organ plane. So, we want to write in uh, ordered pair. So, the real part is 3 and the imaginary part is 1. The next one, minus 1 plus 2i. So, this is equal to here minus 1 and the coefficient of i is 2. Square root of minus 2. So, we should be very careful. 
here don't tell there is no imaginary part so here if i write clearly it is square root of minus 1 into 2 is equal to square root of minus 1 into square root of 2 equal to square root of minus 1 is i i root 2 so this is equal to there is no real part that means 0 and the imaginary part is square root of 2 the last one minus 2i this is equal to 0 because there is no real part and the coefficient of i is minus 2 this is the imaginary part now we want to plot them in uh, organ plane so the first one it is we have x axis and y axis so the point 3 plus i already we have mentioned it is 3 comma 1 so it is 3 in the x axis and 1 in the y axis so this is the point so this point is 3 comma 1 the next one minus 1 comma 2 where is this point so minus 1 in the x axis and 2 in the y axis minus 1 comma 2 the next one square root of minus 2 this is equal to already we have seen it is i square root of 2 the value is i into 1.414 so this is nothing but 0 comma 1.414 0 is here 0 and in y axis 1.414 around here okay so this is 0 comma 1.414 the next one this is equal to minus 2i that means 0 comma minus 2 so where is 0 here 0 and minus 2 minus 2 here this is 0 comma minus 2 here few more examples we have plot the complex numbers in organ plane if you know directly we can plot in the organ plane the first one 3 plus i that means it is 3 comma 1 this is 3 comma 1 the first one I will put a here to mention this one the next one so the minus i plus 2 see here it is reverse so this is nothing but 2 plus minus i you can write it as 2 minus i that means 2 comma minus 1 so 2 in the x axis and minus 1 in the y axis this is for b so 2 minus 1 third one sin pi by 2 plus i cos pi by 4 this is equal to uh, sin pi by 2 it is 1 plus i into cosine pi by 4 the value is 0 0.707 so usually we will write it as 1 plus 0 0.707 i so here it is 1 in the x-axis and 0 0.707 means here this is for c 1 comma 0 0.707 next one 3 comma minus 1 by 2 so 3 in the x-axis minus 1 by 2 means here here this is d 3 comma minus 1 by 2 next one minus 4 comma minus 2i minus 4 here minus 2i here minus 4 so minus 4 in the x and minus 2 in the y so this is e so minus 4 minus 2 thanks for watching